Eat a quail up my siya. By him ancient squish, ala chat leche, ala tonaisht. Me wele e marsh to shisha swea. Good day, everyone. My ancestor is Kwaimi from here, the Seashaft Nation, welcoming you on behalf of our leaders and our elders to our Seashaft Suya. Thanking you for asking to have the land acknowledgement today. Happy to be here on behalf of our people. I wear my orange shirt today in, in memory of our residential school survivors. I'm happy to be here to celebrate Canada Day here with you today. Uh, enjoy the day. We're happy to be on our land. Happy Canada Day. Anchelain tin squish. Titalos tin squish. Ala tsona chen. Ala chat lech. And I'm, the reason I'm saying ala chat lech is uh, when I started, first started learning my language, I took that in my own hands from a dream I had from my great grandfather. And this is him here. And so I, I decided it was my responsibility to learn my language. One, one, one of the things I did was started to be with the elders every day. And I remember when they were naming the high school, they wanted to give it a, a seashell name. And that was big, a big thing, important thing to them. So uh, we gave it the name, they gave it the name Chat Lech. And one of their worries was that it wouldn't be pronounced properly. It would, and so I think one of the big things that it's not, it's not even big, it's, a, it's one word, chat lech, but we have to teach it properly in the school setting and how people say it. And all chat lech means is seashell. That's what it means. So um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to my sister. She's going to talk about her. Her blanket. Happy Canada Day. Anyways, this is my medicine blanket that I created this year. Uh, yes, last year, actually. And uh, it's got medicines in it. That was taught to me by my grandmother, Lena Jo. On top, you'll see the double-headed eagle. And the double-headed eagle is a vision I see on our wharf. That 
that uh, greets all the people that come in on boats. And a picture of my grandfather, Clarence Joe, and his father, Basil Joe. They have stories behind both of them. So these are the things that we have in our family that we really take pride in and want to share with Canada. Thank you. We also have a story written uh, about my dad, his name, our dad. His name was, his Indian name was Mayuk, which means grizzly bear. Uh, and we don't, but he was a big man. He looked like a grizzly bear. And this is a legend told by his great grandfather, Joe Ladelli. And we're proud of this too. We have our own books written by our own people. Uh, this story belongs to our family. So different families in, in the nation will have stories and songs and uh, that, they'll, that they love sharing. And uh, we come from a culture that's very rich and, and uh, we're, we're always willing to teach. We're always willing to educate pe people. We've been on the Reconciliation Committee for a number of years now. Mm -hmm. Audrey and I, and um, uh, we're we, very political. <laughs> and we, we, like our grandfather, our late grandfather, we're out there talking about um, things that happened in our history because our, we come from a family of storytellers, and um, all our histories were oral, nothing was written. And so it took us a lot of time to start writing all all the documents and putting them together for a written um, culture now. And right now we have Rita Jo that's teaching at the high school. I teach with her there. Audrey also works there. Uh, she works with blankets and uh, weaving. naming and weaving. And so um, when, when we share that, we, we feel honored we feel honored to share that with our reconciliation team. We're so honored to be on that team and we find it so important to be together because one of the things uh, our late grandfather, Clarence Joe Sr. said was, we have one foot in the, our world and we have one foot in the white man's mm -hmm. world and we have to, we have to be able to um, go move forward with both that, with that knowledge. So he, he meant that we, um, we had to learn English because it was the language to learn. So a lot of our language was lost at the time. And uh, it, because it was oral, it was never written. But now we have a dictionary of uh, um, 24,000 words. And we're so happy with that that we've worked our people have worked with Ron Beaumont for years. He's a linguist, and we're very honored to have him as our linguist. And he knows all our elders from way back. So just want to mention that um, that we're, we're taking pride in who we are today, and that we're, we're open to, to uh, being, you know, if any, anybody wants an education, uh, that's, that's, um, they need to know more about. We can, you know, if we don't know, we can find somebody that will teach. And like I said, we have Rita that's in the schools, all the schools, including the, the, um, the Cap College. And we're now starting to get businesses of our own, which we're proud of. Um, my son Aaron Joe has, has Salish Soils which is running very well, and I'm very proud to have that. And Audrey's daughter is? Olivia Jo. Her name is Pulpula. And um, she has uh, started a Sacred uh, House. Sacred House. And that's um, helping the elders and the youth, her and Jasmine Festchuk. And they're actually coming here today, and we're doing uh, a Zoom meeting with them. So... This is a big thing for our family because we're all reaching out to everyone now and all you new Canadians who are in Canada, we welcome you to our beautiful, beautiful province. 
in our beautiful Suya. All mm -hmm. Nomsh. Happy Canada Day, Hi, I'm Nicholas Simons, MLA for Powell River, Sunshine Coast, speaking to you from Tla'aman Territory. So today is a day that we normally celebrate. This year we're using to reflect consciously on our country's racist past and on our need to continue the work of reconciliation. So I wish everyone strength encourage and compassion as we continue to build a Canada that we will all be proud of. Enjoy the day. Happy Canada Day, Seashelt. I'm Darnell de Seegers, Mayor of the District of Seashelt, and I'm joining you today from the traditional and unceded territory of the Seashelt people. We have a lot to be grateful for this year. We live in a beautiful country with good systems in place to support us. One in particular that has been front and center is healthcare. I'm so grateful for the strong healthcare system that we have here. This has been a challenging year, and for many of us, slowly moving out of the pandemic lockdown, it is a time to celebrate. As we mark Canada Day this year, we can take pride in the good things our country provides us, while also recognizing our flaws and failures. In light of the most recent discovery at the former residential school in Kamloops, Many members of our community are struggling with grief and trauma, and they do not feel like celebrating right now. Whether we were directly impacted by residential schools or not, it is a time of grief and thoughtful consideration for all of us. I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on Canada's history and how we move forward together from here. Consider Canada Day this year as an opportunity for reflection and learning. And let's demonstrate our values of respect, inclusion, and diversity by not only embracing those who've lived here for countless centuries before us, but also those who are new citizens and add to the beautiful fabric of our community. And so from this place, in this time, and from this context, on behalf of Council, I welcome you to Seashelts Canada Day. Find information on our parade and safely distanced entertainment at seashout.ca forward slash Canada Day. I hope you enjoy today's activities and appreciate our country with clarity and open hearts and the knowledge that each of us has a role to play in building a better Canada. Oh, 